For Americans and for all people, the American West is a priceless possession. I am William F. Cody. More than likely, you know me as Buffalo Bill. When you walk through the front door of this new museum, you're gonna know Buffalo Bill. There's no question, you see him on the statue as you first come in, or you may have heard of him, but you're gonna know Buffalo Bill. The real important point is when you leave here, you're gonna know William F. Cody. You're gonna know this real person, this flesh and blood individual, who yes, was Buffalo Bill, but he was so many other things too. It's impossible to understand who Buffalo Bill was without understanding who William F. Cody was. I am fortunate to know the West as few people, dead or alive, have known it. It's strong characters. It's colorful history. forgotten very quickly if we don't remind people of it. And people love the history of the West. I mean, you go to Europe and everyone knows who Buffalo Bill was. I am the chairman of the Buffalo Bill reinstallation. Both of my grandfathers knew William F. Cody. In fact, oh, my grandfather Shaw, I think, purchased the newspaper from Buffalo Bill. William F. Cody lived in a tremendous time of change. Technology was changing right and left, and he was right on top of it. Remember, Buffalo Bill's Wild West was largely a traveling show. The second performance would end at 10.30 at night, and then they gotta get on the road. They've gotta tear everything down and get everything set up by six o'clock in the morning. One of the ways they did that was by these massive pile drivers that drove in tent stakes. He was on top of all of the new media technologies. We need to get into the 21st century. I think technology is very important because that's what's going on in the country right now and that's what gets people's attention. That's the way they live and it will certainly keep the children more aware of what's going on and make it fun for them. I'll try to vary the pace, for I know that travelers appreciate frequent changes in scenery. Cody was an old man, nearing the end of his life. He was asked, how did he want to be remembered? And he didn't hesitate for a moment. He said he wanted to be remembered for teaching people, especially younger people, by seeing history. That's what Buffalo Bill's Wild West was all about. It was this vehicle for teaching people about history by enabling them to see history almost as it happened while it was still fresh. Today I speak to you from the gardens, uh, uh, of the Buffalo Bill Historical Center on a gorgeous June day. Uh. The reinstallation should have a lot of significance to the people here in the Bighorn Basin. He envisioned that if Cody succeeded or anything succeeded here, the entire Bighorn Basin would succeed, which I think is proven to be true. The, the little towns that sprung up, towns that were there before he came became great little cities, and that was, that was his vision. So we're going to make an appeal to people who live throughout the Bighorn Basin. We have a wonderful trustee, her name is Naomi Tate. She's agreed to match buck for buck of any contribution you make to the Buffalo Bill Historical Center for the purpose of the Buffalo Bill Museum reinstallation. Why not? I think that uh, it'll also make you feel good. 
we're going to get this museum done. Let's get it done for us. Let's get it done for our children. So let's get her done. Yeah.